everybody, my name is Jennifer, a narrator working for Amen. Before we start, please, leave a like and subscribe, help us to grow our channel. Today we are going to talk about, Sullivan Nod, the leader of Testament of the New Ezekiel and the featured antagonist of, Outlast 2, let's talk about his background. Sullivan Nod was born in 1933. In 1966, he, worked as a shoe salesman in Albuquerque, New Mexico. During these years, Nott struggled with financial problems and was about to lose his property due to large debts that he could not afford. In desperation, Sullivan turned to a late-night evangelical radio station for solace, but found no comfort in the voice preaching against the evils of extramarital fornication. As he listened through the preacher's speech, he started hearing something underneath the static to what he proclaimed to be the voice of God. The voice of God expressed to Sullivan his dissatisfaction with the world and its churches, stating that he needed a brave new prophet. The man walked out into the night and saw in the dark sky a vision like that of the prophet Ezekiel. A terrible, many-faced angelic creature, crowned in fire, surrounded by wheels within wheels. The vision bore a prophecy of Sullivan, who would lead a chosen few to paradise and save them from eternal damnation, before the end of days arrive. Filled with purpose, Sullivan abandoned all his earthly possessions and started preaching in the streets of Albuquerque. His passion inspired people who were lost in the world and they flocked to him for guidance. Over the passing years, he had dozens of followers, all of whom had donated their possessions to the nascent church dub testament of the new Ezekiel. They live communally on a luxury ranch owned by a wealthy woman named Lydia Deacon. Sullivan continued to receive messages from God, which he faithfully recorded in a book of verse he called the Gospel of Nod. Sullivan often encouraged all the women of the flock to breed frequently, even donating his own seed to the cause and personally delivering each baby. The home birth gave the New Mexico police the legal authority to crack down on the cult. With a warrant for help and safety violations, police raided Deacon's ranch and arrested a dozen cult members, not barely escaped with a handful of followers. All of their assets were seized and the church was in serious danger of falling apart. Following the guidance of Moses and Abraham, Sullivan climbed a mountain alone to come in with God. He waited on the mountaintop, naked in the wilderness, until God's voice commanded that he sacrifice an eye, in exchange for true vision. Noth unsheathed his knife and slit his left eyeball open. With this act, the veil of reality fell away and Noth saw with absolute certainty the destiny of his church. He foresaw a town, deep in the wilderness and hidden from civilization, that would be the gateway to the true temple of the testament of the new Ezekiel. He would call this town Temple Gate and take his followers there to prepare for the end of times. Noth warned his flock that the road would be long and the horrors many and they would all be forced to make difficult sacrifices and impossible choices in the hope of salvation and paradise everlasting. It was the winter of 1969 when Sullivan Knott and nearly a hundred followers caravaned out into the desert and left their wicked world behind. His physical description, Sullivan appears as an overweight, elderly man of medium height with brown eyes, a scar across his left eye and shoulder length receding hairline. His vestments consist of green robes, a stole decorated with his signature crosses and two additional ones around his neck, the larger being modified to resemble the cult's insignia. Hope you enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe for more, share and support us to grow our channel.